So say the word century and I'm sure one of the first rods that will spring to mind is the world renowned C2. It's been out a long, long time, but about 12 months ago, the guys at Century revamped the range and we bought out the new C2. Now there's three rod lengths. You've got 10 foot, 12 foot and 13 foot in certain test curves. But we have a 10 foot, three pound and a three and a half. In the 12 foot, we go from three pound, three and a quarter and a three and a half. And then for the big guys out there, the big chuckers, we've got the 13 foot, three and a half. So that is the test curves. We're not going to go into too much detail about technical, about 3K weave or 1K weave. We're gonna give you the bully points, the selling points about these new C2s, and then where they're gonna be applicable in your fishing. So let's talk about the ringing to start with. So in the 12 foot, they go from 50 mil down to a 16 mil anti-frap tip. And these are vortex minimas in matte black. So they're very, very lightweight, very slick, very supple. They make the rod really, really light. What you tend to get with a lot of these really low riding eyes is when you pick the rod up, they feel overbalanced. So the tip will always pull down. And that's because a lot of these low rider type K guides, if you like, they're always pulling that bit further forward. So the weight is always transferred to the front, which for me, in the way I cast, the way I fish, is unbalanced. So these Vortex black, the matte black minimas are just perfect. They're so well balanced to the actual blank, the body of the rod. So we're coming down, we go on to the branding, very, very supple, very, very minimalistic on the, on the branding there, the Century C2. Nice little gloss finish there. Then we move down to the business end, which is the handle. So the actual body of the handle, of the real seat, if you like, the carbon is made in-house at Century, right here in the UK. We then work in collaboration with Alps. So we have the shrouds of the real seat here and the screwing ends, the, the, the matte black screws that, that go up the blank to secure the reel. They are all manufactured purposely for Century from Alps. Moving from the real seat there, we've got a lovely little, just it's the attention to detail on these rods that finishes everything off. This nice little matte black collar that joins the real seat down to the very, very thin Japanese shrink. It's slightly flared just on the end, just to give you a bit of grip for those boys that are giving it big casts. And then just to finish it off, we have a black aluminium laser etched century butt cap. So that's the technical bits. Now, where do I use them? Now, Probably 20 years ago, I used a custom-made rod that, for me, was the ultimate thing. It was, the, it was a great all-round rod. It was a 12 foot, three and a quarter. The only slight problem was up to 100 yards with a three ounce lead, it was perfect. Put a three and a half ounce lead on it, didn't like that. So the compromise between a softer action and heavy leads didn't kind of go. Now I use the 12 foot, three and a quarter C2s for most of my fishing. Now this, for me, it's the ultimate rod I've ever used. And I've used a lot of rods over the years, but the thing that it suits is the tip is so soft, but there's so much flex in the main centerpiece of the rod and the strength is down by the real seat. So I'm able to punch leads, four ounce leads these rods will handle, 130, 140 yards if need be, but they're equally at home fishing 10 yards out in the edge with a big five ounce lead. They're so, so versatile that they're just a joy to use, honestly. You can see I'm almost bubbling with passion because I am so passionate about using these rods because they're such a joy to use. And then I talk about the 10 footers. You know, I use the 10 foot threes. They're so slim. All the, the aesthetics are exactly the same as the 12 foot, but in a fishing situation, I use them with fluorocarbon line a lot. So I'm always fishing very close in. If I want to fish at distance, they're perfect up to about hundred yards. If I put mono on my spools, the ringing is slightly different on the 10 foots. They go from a 40 mil down to a 12 mil anti-frap. Still the same vortex minimas on as the others on the 12 foot and the 13 foot, but just the balance of that rod. Everybody that comes into my swim when I'm using them rods instantly comment on how thin the 10 foots are. The 12 foots are thin, but the 10 foots, the 10 foots are unbelievable. And even when you step up to the 13 foot three and a half, the, the ergonomic backbone of the rod isn't really much thicker than the 12 foot, but the strength is there for the people who want to cast a long way. Right, so that's the basic overview of the C2 range. It doesn't end there because not only have Century revamped the whole C2 range, we have introduced a completely new range of rods called the C2 SP, and we are now gonna take a quick look at that range.
Okay, so this thing of beauty in my hands is the new range of distance rods from Century. These are the C2 SPs. Now, for all you old school anglers out there, you'll remember the SP from the late 80s all the way up into the noughties when it was discontinued. And it was the go-to rod in certain circles for distance. I remember when I used to fish horseshoe in linear, back when 120, 130 yards was just unachievable for people like me. Enter the, the SP, and then it became a whole different ball game. They were very, very stiff, a very thick blank, but my God, they could cast a long way. So we've taken the heritage of the SP brand and bought out the new C2 SPs. Now there's three in the range. There's two 12 foot and a 13 foot. We've got a 12 foot 3.6, we've got a 12 foot 3.75, and we've got a 13 foot 3.75. They are all aimed at distance fishing, but making distance fishing not unachievable, if that makes sense. So we haven't just designed an out and out broom angle that can cast a long way, but you're gonna start losing fish 10 yards out when you've when you've sort of just about to land them. This is a playing rod as well as a casting rod. So all the power is in the mid to lower section, yet the tip is unbelievably soft. So all the fittings are exactly the same as the C2 range. You've got the same full Japanese shrink handle, the same Ex exclusively designed real seat for century working with Alps. You've got the same minima guides, but it's all about distance. So there you have it. That's the complete C2 range. I'm going to call it the C2 range because obviously the rods that I use are C2s and then you've got the C2 SPs for the distance. But throughout that range, there is going to be something to suit every single angler's fishing situation. Like I say, everything from under the rod tips to five ounce leads on clear spots in the margins, all the way to 200 yards with a solid bag. There will be something in this range just for you. For more details, check your local stockists or log on to the Century website for more details.